G'day guys. Uh, recently I just purchased Cubase Pro 8 and I'm just gonna open it up and have a little look, see some of the new features and just give you my first impressions. So as you can see, the loading window looks a bit different. Looks a bit more clean, I think. The Cubase is a bit smaller, it's a bit more uniform. I like it. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just open up one of my uh, recent projects, see how it, how it handles it. Okay, so first of all, it looks it looks really nice. I like the look of it. Um, the track names are a bit bigger, so they're just a bit easier to see um, as I move it out. I feel that this it gets rid of things and shows things uh, just a bit smoother. Yeah, it looks all right. Might just switch over. So we've got the transport, looks the same. F2 for that. Uh, I'll switch over to the mix, mix console. So first impressions, I like that I can read all of the insets. They're pretty clear. So I'll just zoom in. Oh yeah. You can see that the writing gets bigger as I zoom in, so that's cool. Um, first of all, I'll just give you a, a bit of a play, just to give you a, an idea of the track. So there you go, you get an idea of that. Um, I'll just go through some of the, the new features that I've been sort of hanging for. Um, one of them is the VCA faders. So I've got my drums here and I just want to create a VCA fader for them. So if I right click, I can come down to add VCA fader to selected channels. So there we go, that automatically links them and it adds a VCA fader link channel. And I'll just move that up so that in the mix window, it's right next to my drums. And then you can see I've got control. That's cool. Command clicking on a parameter gets it back to zero. Um, so yeah, the good thing about a VCA fader is that it doesn't actually there's no routing. It's just uh, a remote control for the selected channels. So that opens up a broad range of possibilities for automation and all that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. Um, 
I'm a I like to name everything, so I'll just call this drums VC, VCA, just so I know exactly what it is. I don't have to go, oh, what's this? Um, so another thing that I've been uh, hanging for, uh, and one thing that I will use a lot is the render in place function. So what I might do is just select these, I'm going to go up to edit and then down to render in place and I've got this render set up. I'm going to click on that. So it's going to render these these particular tracks or uh, bass tracks and I can have them either dry and then it transfers the channel settings so it will transfer my EQ, my delay and my compressor. compressor sorry. So I'll do that, I'll go OK. And what that will do is it will, you can see it's created a new track, a new audio track. And per clip, it's actually created a new audio track. And you'll see when that finishes, that it will mute the, um, the bass tracks on the MIDI, MIDI channel or instrument channel and it will bring them down here. So you can see that's copied across my EQ and all that. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. So yeah, that's a really, really cool feature. I'm gonna use that so much. And another cool feature for that is you can, so for instance, I'll do this again for this last bit. Uh, edit, render in place, but this time I'll do it with the complete signal path. So this will actually bounce it after all of these effects onto a new audio track. this process obviously takes a little bit more time just because it's going through all the effects as well. So there's my audio track, you can see there's no inserts. And that's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's really cool. Been really hanging out for that feature for quite a while now. Okay, so another cool feature uh, in Cubase Pro 8 is the ability to have collections in your plugins. So as it stands now, I've got a, a big long list of plugins that I have and own. So I can go through and go through them normally and find some. But now, if I go up to devices and then go down to plugin manager, I can actually create my own personal, say favorite plugins. So what I'll do is I'll just create a, a new collection and I'll call this faves. So my favorite plugins, let's just say, I might add Fab filter Q. And my tail chorus. Virtual mix rack. We'll add reverence to. So let's just say they're my favorite plugins that I use all the time. So now I've created that collection. If I go, let's just say I want to add that 
one of those plugins. Now if I go to add a plugin, it comes up with this faves collection and they're the four uh, plugins that I've added to it. But then I can go back to my default as it stands. So I can have different um, collections, which is really handy. Um, I might, oh yeah, another thing which is um, pretty cool and promising. So I've got on my bass, I might just add the new plugin, which is uh, Quadra, Quadra Fuzz. So this is a new multi-band uh, distortion that comes with Cubase Pro 8. It's got four bands, and five different types of distortion that we can add to each individual band. We can add tape tube and various other distortions. Decimal, decimator, we've got an amp drive distortion. Yeah, so this is, um, this is quite cool. I might just cycle through some of the presets. As you can see, it's got a built-in delay too. So that's a pretty crazy plugin that you can use um, for subtle changes and also quite crazy changes too. So yeah, I might just leave it there. Um, I'm gonna be doing various other tutorials and I'll look in, into more depth on some of these new plugins and new features of Cubase Pro 8. All in all, I reckon it's a, it's a huge leap forward. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to explore it more and thank you for watching. <laughs>